Hey guys, Black Hawk Oi here, and um, I know this is not Eve. This is uh, Mountain Blade Warband for Floris Expanded. Floris Expanded is just a mod, um, and if you haven't heard of Mountain Blade, it is sort of like an open world medieval game, and you have your own troops, stuff like that, and I mean, I don't really know exactly how to explain it. I mean, you know, I'll just show you right now. So. Basically, here's the opening for this mod, Flourish Expanded, all that stuff, and then you start a new game. Cool. Let's start a new game, and it pops up, it launches a game, it'll take a while. Anyways, you hear about Calradia, a land torn between rival sovereignties, battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to whisk, risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory, and this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities. You believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that, finally, you hold the key free of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. So, let's continue. This is the... Um, character creation. Back, You have your background and all your attributes here. Um, so, I'm going to be a male. And my father was, I, I always liked doing impoverished noble. What does that even do, you know? Hmm. Let me see, veteran warrior. Get training for that, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a uh, veteran warrior because get better skills with that. Um, hmm. Noble in training. I'm doing noble in training. Um, okay, so this, your father was a veteran warrior. You spent your early life as a noble in training. You later become a. Hmm. Gladiator. Like a boss. Your reason for an adventure? Sense of duty, personal revenge. The loss of a loved one. No. Hmm. Being forced out of your home? Yeah, I did something wrong, obviously. So leadership? Damn. Tactics, trainer, writing, yeah, that's what I want. That's definitely what I want. Okay, so... <laughs> you were born... I know, I'm not gonna read... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but I'll scroll through here. So this is the first part right here. Um, that's the second part third part screw it I'm reading it okay so your biography is you're born years ago in a faraway land your father was a veteran warrior as a child your family scrambled out of a meager living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord it was not an easy ex existence and you were too poor to get much out of an education you learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets with or without a weapon in hand you started to learn about in the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk you spent most you spent your early life as a noble in training as a boy growing out of childhood you were trained and educated to perform duties and wield the rights of a noble landowner the managing of taxes and rents were equally important in your education and diplomacy and even personal defense you learning every you learned everything you needed to become a lord of your own hall. And then as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a gladiator. Then as a young adult, ch life changed. Yeah, they have some bugs in this game. Um, so. <laughs> or they have some bugs in the mod. At least. So, though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had to become a man and the whole world seemed to change around you. You were earned applause of dinners in a brutal contest against men and beasts, and grew to crave both rewards. Drunk on the, bl the bloodlust of cheer cheering crowd, you learned to tease the opponent, opponent and draw out your fight before eventually seizing victory with savage flair. Your agile moves, moves and flamboyant presence mark both you as both a warrior and artist. But soon everything changed and you decide to strike out your own on your own as an adventurer. 
what made you change the decision was being forced out of your home. Only do you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become a venture, an adventurer. However, you know you cannot go back. There's nothing to go back to. Whenever home you may, whatever home you may have had is now gone, and you must face the fact that you're out of the out in the world, alone to, to fend for yourself. As a common man, you may face some difficulties establishing yourself as an equal um, equal among Pelaradia's great lords. So let's do this. Mm, realistic without saving, no quitting without saving. Yeah, okay. So let's enter our name, uh, sir. Laugh a lot. Now the reason why I do say this one is like, if I don't know if you've ever, ever any of you have ever watched Gravity Falls, but there was like this really like, there's this episode where there was a party at one the richer people's. I don't even know their name anymore, but they're they're people who basically had a lot of money in that town and. There was like this guy who like laughed really funnily, like r like really weirdly, and uh, I'll just put it up in like the corner. Tonight we will enjoy only the finest of tastes and only the snootiest of laughter. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that. <laughs> and yeah, anyways, that was that was like that's what I'm getting this from. Sir, laugh a lot. It's sort of like quirky, uh, quirky I think. <laughs> so, anyways. We have attributes, strength, agility, intelligence, charisma. Strength basically gives you one plus one to hit points, and yeah, agility makes you move and slightly, slightly increases movement speed, um, and gives you five points to weapon points right here, so you could add stuff to here. Intelligence gives me one extra skill point, so it gives me an extra skill point down here to use with where, where throughout there. Um, and charisma gives me one plus one to my party size limit and yeah so hmm I'm gonna go with a whole bunch of intelligence 11 points there that's insane well it's like absolutely insane I'm gonna go ahead and give myself two no I'm not gonna do that mm. Um, because tactics works by every two levels of the skill gives a battle advantage of one. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how th how that does, but it gives you some sort of advantage in when you're battling someone. Um, I'm gonna give that more training, tracking, no, foraging, looting, foraging allows party to forage for five. Food per skill level. Give two for that. Let's see. Pathfinding. Pathfinding is really useful because party map, it'll give you party map speed um, per, like, for 30% for each level. So I'm going to put that up to three. That'll make us go faster on the map. Um, spotting is also a good one. So I could see further. Um,. And then I'm going to go for Power Strike and Shield, yep. And then I'm going to go for Archery. There we go. So that's that, and it's still an lot cool. I'm going to randomize a few times, and then I'm going to edit from there, because it's like take, that's going to take like way too long. There we go, he looks sexy. I mean, well, not really, but you know. <laughs> I don't like all those, like, really plain ones, for some reason. Like, they're just so plain and stuff. Um. That works. He looks like an old man, sort of. <laughs> so, that should be it. That's okay. So you came through Heartland of Care to Green Shoot everywhere. Uh, so you came by caravan through the Heartland of Kelradia. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills, and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle and cattle of sh and sheep are ga grazing on the spring grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of 
one of the great war horses that are the pride of the Swadian nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt out farm bears witness. You keep a wide berth of the forests where despite many desperate were desperate many ugh, where desperate men have taken refuge and it and it is some relief when you crest the ridge and catch sight of the great port of Craven, its rooftops made of gold by the last rays of the setting sun. You exhausted, you find in a Praven and fog asleep quickly however you wake before dawn and are eager to explore the surroundings you venture out into the streets which are still desert deserted all of a sudden you hear a sound that stands with the hairs on your neck on end the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard oh shit i'm gonna die totally gonna die load game load yeah i'm gonna die i'm totally gonna die let's bring out our sword fool Where's this guy? Nope. That's not happening. Oh, great. If I'll ever be able to hit him. There we go. Die, fool. Boom! Stab, 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 stab. Nope, I can't stab him anymore. It's deadly. Damn it. <laughs> and here comes Guy. Make sure not to stab him again. Because whenever I play this game, I get all scared and I, like, you know, thrust my sword at him. You're all right. Well, you know, I'm not going to read all this stuff because there's going to be a lot of this in the for this. So I'm going to let you read it. It's basically saying you're alive and stuff like that. Cool. And just talk inside. We don't know who's listening. So Merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinced that you have not been followed, comes near you, you to speak. You know, honestly, I wouldn't... If I was just attacked by someone and someone ran up to me like, Oh, good, you're okay. I mean, I don't even care who it is. I would be like, screw you. I'm not following you in your house. Um... <laughs> Uh, so here's his house, cool. Ulrich Fugger. Now let me explain my proposition. We've always had bring in his house. So anyways, basically this this first mission that this guy that this game gives you is this is the same mission from this mod to the normal uh, game with no mods. So basically there are uh, his brother was captured and it's bad for his business and stuff like that. You can read that um, if you want to you can pause the video. And he wants me to go find him. So, yeah. You could read this again. So, yeah. So, here's... Uh, I'm interested. Cool. Collect five men. Very good, sir. I'll go collect them from around surroundings. Cool. I'm gonna press Q. Collect five men. Cool. Given. Don't want to be attacked by those guys. So you're now viewing the overland map. Left click on the map to move your party to that location. Enter this town. The, enter the selected town or pursue the selected party. Time will pause on the overland map if your party is not moving, waiting, or resting. To wait anywhere, simply press and hold down spacebar. Oh, actually, never knew that. <laughs> okay, cool. So basically, I have one guy, right? That's just, that's, I'm like the only guy, and I'm hurt 5% damage or whatever. Anyways, you can go to all these, see all these little towns, like all these towns, right here, or all these villages right here. You can go any any of them and recruit people. And then you can also go to the, um, um, what is it? You can go to the taverns in these towns right here, and you can go and uh, buy mercenaries, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, that's it's pretty fun. Uh, so let's recruit some volunteers, and they're just Swadian recruits basically. They're not nothing really much in uh, power until I can upgrade them. Uh, where did that guy go? <laughs> that guy just like disappeared on me. Okay. 
cool. We're recruiting volunteers. Nice. So, eventually I have five volunteers. And run. <laughs> run. <laughs> cool, I have five volunteers, six actually, which is even better. I'm gonna attack someone right now, so I can show you the in-game battle. Generally, I'm gonna actually gonna speed up the battle a little bit, so that it doesn't drag out, because they can drag out a lot. Like, really, like, a lot. So, in this, uh, basically it says, uh, you might get these notifications, and it basically lets you know that there's a tournament being held. So, during your days of travel, you come across a lone warrior, traveling towards Yuxol. From him, you learn that there will be a tournament held in the town by Duke Delinard. Let's attack those guys, these guys. Surrender or die? Charge! Follow me, please. I don't want to... Follow me. Yeah, so basically, water, obviously, it slows you down, and I don't want to slow my horse down. It would be, like, caught in that. So I'm waiting here. I'm waiting. I'm having my guys wait here. I'm just going to shoot my arrows at these guys. Ooh, oh, no, I didn't get anyone. Oh, so close. So, yeah, you, you just, like, wait. They'll throw, like, the rocks or whatever. Obviously, I'm really bad at this. There we go. Skills. Everyone charge. There we go, and he's dead. I'm not dead yet, but I'm getting hurt. And I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I don't want to die. Op success. <laughs> there we go. We lost one guy, I think. Uh, yeah, we lost one guy. Or we might, might have been locked unconscious. No, he was killed. <laughs> That's sad. Okay, so now these guys are upgraded. Now we can go Peasant Archer or Swatting Militia. I would rather go Swatting Militia for now. Because they're a little bit stronger in the beginning of the game. Um, so I'm going to loot all this. And then go and sell it at the town market. Because I need dinners. Which is the in-game currency. Cool. Now my inventory is full and stuff like that. Cool. No, no one else is upgraded. So cool. let's go back to Praven. We have five guys. Let's see. This is okay. So let's go to tavern, and this is what a tavern might look like. You have like um, Marnid, which is I'm guessing. Yeah, it's it's definitely someone that you a companion. You can get mercenary soldiers, um, some different mercenary people, um, book merchants. You get like buy book books that can help you increase skills. And this is the guy we want to talk to. So, very well. I'll shall hunt down the bandits for you, and we shall kill them. And they're like right there. I've been looking for you. Tell me where to keep you keep your prisoners, and I'll let you go. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, those prisoners are not gone. They're only going free if you pay the ransom. Do you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. Haha. Uh -huh. Charge enemy. And hold this position. Because I have low health and I don't want to charge. <laughs> I'm too much of a pussy to do so. No, actually, charge. Whatever. No, charge. There we go. I don't want you to follow me. I want you to charge! Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is, in my opinion, this is a fun game. I'm going to speed this battle up because it's, like, going to take forever to, you know, find them and stuff like that. So I'm going to speed this up, and I don't know where that guy is going. So yeah. So yeah, that's the end of that battle, and cool, we killed a whole bunch of people. Oh yeah, you can also look at that, it's so cool. They just told us where they were, I'm gonna not do that, I got some dinners, which is nice. And I'm gonna go right here and go to Marketplace, 
and go to goods. Yep. And I'm gonna sell all of this. All of it. Just, just get rid of all of it. <laughs> I don't care about upgrading my guy right now because that would be a waste. And I'm going to get some food. Oh great, I'm not going to pay that much. I'll receive 50 dinners? Cool. Awesome. So, do I talk to the guy? Oh yeah, go to tavern and talk to him. See, I think I think I've talked to him. Cool, so I found the lair. It was Chandler near Gizm. Okay, cool. So, Kidnapper's Hideout. Nice. Let's go to Party. I'm gonna upgrade this guy to another Swatting Militia. And yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Woo. So, yeah, also, you got a weekly budget, so we just are sort of off lots of party. Negative 20 dinners change, so yeah, I got I have to pay for my troops each and every single week. In game, obviously, not in real life. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's you do have to do that. And once you get like, once you can own own like these villages, or you can own uh, castles or these towns, you'll make a lot more dinners per week where you can actually be in a. Um, hold an army and still make money or dinners money dinners screw that <laughs> oh whoops yeah forgot that you don't have help or no you don't have a horse when you're attacking these uh bandit layers which can be annoying sometimes so yeah nice job guys i didn't even get to hit him which i wanted to kill him very badly but they're gaining gaining h or exp or XP, so that's good. And I can level them up. These, they look like really bad. Like, they, they, they look like they're not very strong. <laughs> I'm not gonna do tournaments because, um, because I don't have good skills, um, and they are sort of a waste of time if you don't Yeah, so they're sort of like a waste of time because if you don't have the skills, then everyone else you're fighting will basically destroy you. Nice job, guys. Nice job. So, thank you, thank you. So this is the Merchant's Brother, yeah, obviously it's just like up there. Stop screaming like... I don't know. <laughs> so, with their retreat cut off, I can get everything they have. I'm gonna be rich. All that food. Oh my gosh. I'm like, oh my. Cool. No, uh, that's 15, 18, 4. I'm gonna not look at that right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna look at that right now. So, I. Got those guys. Some of my soldiers are ready to upgrade. That's one of them. So let's look at what we can upgrade them. So you go down here to reports and upgrade tree. And right now we're the king of Aswadia. Uh, Aswadia militia, Aswadia and Falgear. So I'm going to do this one. Unless... I mean, I would do that one, but I don't... I've, I think the Vogir or the Valgir are a lot better at it. So I'm going to upgrade this one to Valgir. Of course, when you upgrade your guys, it does cost some denners, and it also increases the wage that you have to pay. So let's go back to Praven and complete this quest. Okay, so let's go to the tavern and... Um... Let's talk to this guy, cool. So, uh, he is safe and everything, cool. The money is most welcome. I'm glad to have, yeah, no, have to, uh, to be of service. So, remember how Band of the Law. Okay, cool. So now there are the, we, the, um, the garrison leader or whatever is, you know, 
he found him and he realized that he's the one that's been letting all these people into the town and stuff like that. And so I'm gonna lead his men and I'm gonna kill that guy. Guys, townsmen, Fogers, I'm gonna lead us to battle and we'll do it and we'll kill him and everything will be okay, I think. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Okay, I'm not wanting to die right now. I'm too young. Help me before I die. Oh god. Yep, I'm dead. Well, I'm unconscious. Cool, so I've fallen with that last blow and I'm able to move or trying hard not to pass out. Soon the sounds of fighting filling the streets give gives way to the cheers of the townsmen and you realize with the relief that your side won the day. Soon friendly arms pick you up from the ground and you let yourself drift off to a blissful sleep. Hours later you wake up in the merchant's house. Cool, I guess I don't mind... A blow taken in a good cause, heavens alone. I'm glad that you're still alive too. That's yes, whatever. <laughs> so anyways, that isn't really like the actual gameplay. So Yeah. That's just the first mission it gets really sort of like involved in the game. Um you don't really have to do it, but it's a simple, easy way to get some dinners. Um so yeah, let's um I don't really like these soldiers, but I'm gonna basically terrorize everyone in here and get a whole bunch of troops and then move over to the Kingdom of Nords. So I'm gonna recruit some volunteers and attempt to forcefully. Yeah, didn't really work. Cool. Um, I got 19. I could actually have like, a lot of people, but I'm going to keep that there. And I'm going to go to Gizm. And that's going to be like, the last one. I'm going to go to Sargoth, which is the Nord's homeland. I'm going to upgrade my character real quick. Um, so, huh. Present, no. I'm going to do strength and that. And then I'm going to increase archery. Cool. Nice. So once I get the Gizm, I'm going to go to Sargoth, and I'm going to have to go because it is getting a bit late, and I have to do uh, some school projects and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is, this is a fun game. I mean, the, the beginning is quite slow, and yeah, it's, it's, you know, not really, really, like, the best thing. So six villagers, cool. I got a whole 60, whole 60 men army, which of, you know, <laughs> Swadian peasants, but totally worth it, cost is 79 per week, uh, so that's good. So I'm going to get to Sargoth as fast as I can. Talk to King Ragnar, well, they have different names in this mod, but I like to just call him King Ragnar, so... <laughs> And also, you, your party consumes a certain amount of food each day, and it'll show you your party consumed um, that much food, and then you'll, you know, just consume that much food. I want to battle these guys. Come on, I just want to fight someone. Thank you. So I have 60. Cool. Charge enemies! Now guys, I want you to be safe out there, play safely. Don't don't cause too much harm to yourselves. I want 
people dying on me. <laughs> oh man, we're totally gonna die. Didn't hit a single person. That's just fantastic. Completely. Oh god. And die. Die. Don't die. Obviously not. And die. And die. Or don't die. You know what? Screw you guys. You guys don't love me. Oh god. And run. You know, there's a certain amount of time where you're just like, you know what? Screw this. I'm running. See? Just like that. And we are totally gonna lose. Well then. Finally escaped. That's freaking fantastic. Oh man. That's a whole load of bullshit. Okay. That actually pisses me off. Well then. Like I said, I really don't like those troops. Um, Nord troops. I'm gonna be right back once I can get some Nord troops. Yeah. Oh. Great. Oh wow, I help you guys kill them and you're just like, you know, screw you, I'm not gonna do anything for you? Okay, whatever. Oh my. Oh great. Screw it. Whatever. The beginnings for me have been like the hardest thing, but once I can get myself up on the feet, I've uh, recruited a whole bunch of people and upgraded them. I'm, I'm, I get to be pretty good at it, and he's not gonna follow me. Oh no. Yeah, so I'm gonna go around the countryside and recruit people, and I'll be right back. Actually, I'm gonna, go, I'm, I'm gonna go upgrade my guys. I need to upgrade some things. Like, I, I need an actual upgraded army that can do something instead of die every single second. <laughs> um, I'm gonna upgrade my sword. I'm gonna get myself a sword, which one's better. They're both the same. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um... Yeah, that's all I, I can do right now. There's eight of them right there. Now that, that can work. Lead my troops actually doesn't tell them to charge. There we go! Nice job, guys! Nice job. Nice, nicely done. Now we can actually get some... Whoa, that's a boss. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's do a whole bunch of Huskarls. Let me look at that. Um, yep, I'm gonna switch that out. And... I'm gonna do that. And, hmm... 
though I can't use that, but I'll bring that in. And I'm gonna get all those, never mind. The helmet, yeah, I'm gonna switch that out. And actually, I could upgrade that to that. And, hmm, anything else? No, I think that's all. So, cool, that was successful. That was actually really successful. I got some troops back. Um, uh, we can go Huskar Berserkers. So let's go to Upgrade Tree. Let's go to the Kingdom of Nords. So Huskarls are... They don't have a shield, which I'm not really a fan of. But they have one hand weapons up to 90. Versus these guys have it up to 85. Um, it says have more HP. I'm going to go with Berserkers. Definitely Berserkers. Um, so... Hmm. Yeah, Berserkers are definitely the one way to go with this. And Swatting Militia. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to end this episode by going to Sargoth. And yeah, uh, that was that was interesting. I, I do like this game a lot. Uh, if you guys like want me to con continue the series, uh, then I will. Um, let's go to marketplace for. But yeah, uh, I will, and I would completely enjoy doing it as well. Um, so yeah, if you want me to continue doing this, leave a like. Um, comment down below on what your thoughts about this game is and um subscribe if you haven't if you really like this you can check out my other videos i do a lot of eve online if you haven't uh seen any of my other videos a lot of eve online and also for everyone who does like watching my eve online videos i am working on one right now it's going to be a bit longer than my other ones and yeah so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode and this. I hope you guys want the series to continue. And see you guys next time.